the quasi-quote special form is very similar to the quote special form. The quasi-quoted expression does not get evaluated. Instead, the value is the expression itself. But what's special about quasi-quotation is that parts of that expression can be evaluated. Let me show you what I mean. Suppose we define b to be 2, and then quote a, b, c. The fact that b is 2 doesn't matter. We're just writing down a list of symbols a, b, c. The same is true when I quasi-quote. That's a different symbol than that. This is the normal quotation. This is quasi-quotation. When I write a, b, c quasi-quoted, I get exactly the same result. But the power of quasi-quoting is that I can choose to selectively unquote certain parts of the expression that I've quoted. Unquoting means that b will get evaluated as opposed to being returned as a symbol. I could also unquote whole expressions. If I want to, for instance, add 5 to whatever b happens to be right now. And then I get the list a7c. Now, if I were to unquote something that cannot be evaluated, such as c, then I'll get an error, because it's going to try to evaluate c. Now, unquoting with a comma only works when you're quasi-quoting. If you're just regular quoting and you attempt to unquote, then what you'll see is a quoted version of this expression, and this is just shorthand for unquote b. Now, macros are really the reason why quasi-quoting exists in the language. It makes it much easier to describe an expression where you want to fill in certain parts. So, for example, if I have an expression times xx, and I'd like to build a lambda expression, then I would quasi-quote lambda x, and then that expression. Unquoting makes sure that that expression is evaluated, and so it gets filled in instead of just writing the symbol expr. Watch how quasi-quoting can simplify the definition of check that we created earlier. To check an expression means that I need to check whether that expression is true or false, which requires evaluating it, and so I unquote. If that's true, then I just return the symbol passed. If it's false, then I return the list failed, and then the expression itself, which needs to get evaluated. Now this is not going to evaluate to true or false, because it's inside of a quotation. I'll leave both of these here, but when I load the file, this one will overwrite this one. So this is the one we're actually evaluating if I check whether it's the case that 2 is greater than 0, that passed. But is negative 2 greater than 0? No, that failed. This expression did not return a true value. And I think we can all agree that it's much clearer what this macro does when I use quasi-quoting than when I attempted to construct the same expression using primitives such as list. No more double quotes. No more calls to list. No war writing out the word quote and quoting it to make sure that it doesn't get evaluated. Instead, I just say, here's the expression that I want to evaluate when I define this macro, and here are the parts that need to be evaluated along the way.